I've never seen this much rain in my whole life. We've gotten 10 inches in the last two days and everything is just so soaked, so wet. <laughs> and we had to turn on the uh, generator. It's something we haven't had to use in a really long time. But our batteries are totally shot because we had nothing but cloud cover and they've just been covered in water. So desperate times call for desperate measures. with you guys before there were a lot of engineering mistakes in the process of building this workshop so the plans that we had received originally only had four footers one on each corner and over the course of the last six months we've chosen to add 12 more footers for a grand total of 16 freaking footers on this thing so obviously that gives us a lot more confidence that this thing is solid this thing is not going anywhere it is super super strong and a lot of you guys have commented on our videos have sent us emails that have a lot more experience than we do and gave us advice of adding in gussets where also which also weren't in the original plants so we put those on the front and the back overhang of the roof and then there were also moments where we had to kind of get a little bit creative. For instance, we have the mezzanine, which is a 16 foot run, which absolutely no supports underneath. So that's why we decided to put the metal ladder in the middle to help support the middle from sagging. And it also kind of brings in this very uh, creative industrial look to the workshop. So even though the plans and the advice that we initially got wasn't the most ideal. It was ultimately our responsibility to fix the mistakes and try to make the best of it. And it has been such a huge learning process for us. So we made a lot of mistakes while building this workshop. We've shown you guys a lot of them. And today we're going back and fixing the mistake we made when we first started building the structure. There's a huge emphasis in Panama on trying to save every single dollar possible. Whether that means putting in one less beam, or sometimes two less beams. And for us, there's a couple of beams we really should put into our roof. We have a 15 foot span going here. And as we've kind of built more, talked to more people, learned more, we realized there really should be two more supports in this roof. And especially walking up on top of it is pretty dangerous. So we're putting these cabayas today. Yeah, maybe I'll just, let me just tack mine in. Okay. Three, two, one, twist. We've had a lot of stupid ideas over this past year, and this is kind of going that list of probably one of the stupidest. Or maybe one of the smartest, what do you think? <laughs> smartest. I think it's pretty smart. We're physically raising the roof right now. The roof actually started bending a little bit. So we're just straightening it out. So as 
we're putting these beams up, we're realizing this is like the perfect situation because we're going to be putting two um, really big, like rectangular lights. Like that, this one right here. That one, that exact one right there. So these will be the perfect like mounting pieces that we can use for the lights. Why the quiet? We did it. Three. Cabayos, three super, super strong supports. We should have done this in the beginning, but at least we did it. This is probably the first time in a long time that we said, all right, the goal of the day is we're gonna get three of these things up here today. And we actually finished by five o'clock. But we do still have some challenges. This work day is not done. If you guys look over here, if you look at this little meter on our batteries, Right there, those red numbers, it says 12.6. When that meter gets down to 12.5, our batteries are empty. And it's, I don't think it's gonna be sunny or windy for the next four, three or four days. So I gotta try to figure something out. Unfortunately, the solution right now to our electrical problems is using a generator. Off the two solar panels we have hooked up, we only got 36 amp hours of power. That's like using a laptop for five hours. So I just strung up a super long extension cord because I don't want to move the generator in the rain. So I'm going to run it about 100 feet over to where the generator is. The only problem is it's pouring outside right now. I'm going to make this super quick. I'm going to get super wet. It's downpouring. I've never used the inverter charger before. That's what we have. We have an inverter charger from Renogy. 112 volts coming in. 110 volts going out. So that means it's charging. This is exactly why we wanted to install this wood stove, even if it's not done correctly. Because in days like this, it is so freezing. And we also have like really sent people who are really sensitive to the cold. We have people from the Caribbean and Richard and Rodrigo. And Rodrigo, and Rodrigo showed up today and he was like hiding in the car. He was like, no, I don't want to do it. We just got hit. So Nicaragua is getting hit by a crazy, crazy hurricane right now. And we're getting all the residual rain. So we've gotten how much rain? It was 40? We got 10 inches in two days. Yeah, 10 inches in freaking like little been, over 24 hours. It's been windy, it's been freezing, and this thing right now is just heating up this workshop so nice. No, 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 no I don't want it, I don't want it, Kaylee. Oh, no. <laughs> We're top non. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, okay, spin, spin. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, you look so. Oh, no. Should we or should we not cut Jordan's hair? He's been really thinking about it the last couple of weeks. Okay, we have two options. First one, he uh, keeps the hair long to the hip, like oh. here, like very long. Or I have a, this oh. the tool in my house to do this. There is a third option. Uh -huh. oh. I like this one. Yeah, look it up. Man, this one is sick with dread. Start. Brother, what's an honor? This is something that I was asking for. This is a lot of time. <laughs> oh no. I don't believe that. One day, one day. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> is it cold? <laughs> Are you weak half now? <laughs> nope. 
It's gonna be really sad watching all this water drain out. This is 1,200 gallons of water. But what we're doing is we're gonna clean two tanks at a time so Kaylee and I can keep taking hot showers. We're gonna work on these two today. So these two tanks are open. These two are closed. We're gonna drain them, clean them, do the whole thing. And then we'll be able to drink from this and whenever we're ready, once we can get the water tested. Close enough for me. So these cuts were gonna go like this. Like this. Like 47 and a half. Go back to the states. You'd be a welder. I would. I would probably go to school to become a welder. <laughs> to be completely and utterly honest. How big is glorious is doing this? You're like in huge metal tanks, just like welding all day. Long. Well, maybe I would. Maybe I would be like a personal welder. Like I weld what I want when I want. <laughs> So we're getting ready to put up the frames for the lights. Kaylee right now is just measuring the center point of the workspace area. So the center point between there and there, that's where the center of the light will be. 293 and a half. Okay. 293 and a half. 293 and a half. Love, do you think we're some of the only people in Boquete that has a wood fire stove? Yeah, because you can't buy a, a, a flue pipe anywhere here. No one here has a chimney. <laughs> Another thing too is in Jaramillo, like we've been pretty much to every spot that you can go to in Boquete. Um, and I'm like I'm I'm pretty certain that where our land is and like this whole vicinity of where where we are is the coldest area in the whole country of Panama. So Except for the top of the volcano. Except yeah, of course. Except for the top of the volcano. But no one lives there, you know? So it's kinda cool and it's like having this I feel like gives us a little bit a little taste of New England weather, a little taste of home. Oh. Ready? 
Go! Woo! <laughs> the first one! This might be one of the biggest upgrades that we've had. So Rodrigo was so kind and made us a freaking so pencil holder because you guys have no idea how many freaking pencils we've gone through and how I lose them many all. times during the day we lose I the lose pencils. Them. It's all me. Well, I have some bad news. These are our two big ceiling lights that we're going to use when we're doing work. And I smashed one of them. If you look right there. <laughs> so we're only going to get one light up today, but it's better than nothing. So we custom made these little brackets, these little frames. We really wanted the lights to be low profile and also just get all the way up to the ceiling. So we just used some angle iron and made these little frames. We welded some L brackets to it and then we're just gonna screw it in and it's gonna be done. Mass and minimalistic. <laughs> yeah, this is it. All right, I'm gonna go up, honey. And maybe you and Rodrigo can wait to me. Okay. okay. And... All right, bro, there's a line. Crazy how different it looks in here, just with one light. We're still gonna put one more right there. And we were just talking about how it's gonna kind of be weird that these two lights are together. But then we're also gonna have lights coming off of right here. One right yeah. there, and one right there. And then one right there. Yeah, just like how Kaki's doing it. Just like that. Kelly, show me that. Cause these are gonna be like our little workstations. Like there's gonna be a table here, table over there. And as you guys know, I'm all about the mood lighting. So if anything, you know, these are somewhat of a warm light. Kaylee hates, Kaylee hates blue lights. I freaking hate blue lights. I hate LEDs. No. So I think what I'm thinking is we have some lights that come off either like the metal beams that are kind of come down like this, like it goes out and then like. <laughs> There's no way that's comfortable, honey. There's no way. Your belly's higher up than your head, honey. Oh, you're coming to bed. We're exhausted. Going to bed. See you guys next time. Bye, guys. Love you.